Hey, how are you doing? Just headed to the office today. Later on, I'm going to go meet with uh, the founder of uh, Poker... It's either Poker.net or PokerStars.net. I'm not sure. I should I should probably know that before I go see him. We're going to go check out his hangar. He's got a bunch of jets inside there. He's got a Batmobile, a bunch of exotic cars. And so I'm going to take my grandson, and we're going to have a great time today. But I, I wanted to ask you something, and that is... What's more important to you, your bills or your freedom? I'd like to know, what is more important, your bills or your freedom? Because I think I know what you're going to say. I think you're going to say, well, my freedom, of course, that's more important. I'm the most important person in the world. And what I mean by that is you should be the most important person in the world to you. Uh, not your spouse, not your boss, not your kids. You, you need to start being selfish. Let that sink in. How many times have you ever heard someone tell you you need to start being selfish? Take care of yourself first. Everybody else comes second. But here's the cold hard truth about that. If you don't take care of yourself first, no one else is going to. You know, you're gonna be dependent on the government here pretty soon. I read a thing that's 95% of baby boomers, it was 95.9, so we'll round it up to 96% of baby boomers. Uh, will never be self-sufficient. They'll always rely on some type of government program to take care of themselves in the future. 96%. Are you going to be one of those 96? You know, look at your friends on Facebook. 96 out of 100 of them will rely on the government at some point in their life to take care of them, to feed them, to provide them housing, clothing, medical care. 96% of people that you know are going to rely on the government. So I want you to start being selfish. I want you to start putting yourself first. Now, what do I mean by that? Do I mean that you hoard everything? You don't take care of everybody else? No, that's not what I'm talking about. You need to put yourself first, you in front of everyone else. And after you take care of yourself then you start taking care of everybody else. Look at it, if you fly, and you know I fly a lot, and when they do their, their safety breach, their safety breach, their safety uh, presentation, there's another word that I can't think of right now, but when they do that brief, safety brief, that's what I'm looking for. You know, they say in case of loss of cabin pressure, to put the oxygen mask on yourself first, and then help someone else. So you gotta take care of yourself first. If you're not taking care of yourself, man, it's bad. And, and I watched a video recently with Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs, and he said, we live in a society that safety first has ruined our society, and it actually makes us less safe because we think someone else is gonna look out for our safety, and we need to start being selfish to watch out for our own self self-interest. So how do you get started with this? Well, I know most of you go and you make your money. So you, you work really hard for it. And then you take your money and you do what a lot of businesses do. You pay your expenses and then whatever. And then first you make your money, then you pay the IRS, your partner, and then you pay your expenses. And then whatever's left you live off of it. Sound familiar? That's what most people do. Revenue, taxes, expenses, you get what's left. I want you to almost flip that or at least move yourself up. Put yourself in front of the IRS. Put yourself in front of your expenses, whether you're an employee, or an employer, put yourself 
first. Revenue or paycheck, you take your piece of it out, then you pay the IRS, then you pay your expenses after you take your piece out first. Now, most of you are not doing it that way. I know it. I didn't do that way for, for years. I, I took care of everybody else first, and then whatever I had left over, I left. I ate the leftovers. Now, how fair is that? That you're out there busting your butt, sacrificing your body, sacrificing your family to just live off of scraps. And you pay the IRS first. You pay your bills first. Your credit card, your mortgage, your car, your insurance, your cell phone, your groceries, your gas. Everything gets paid first. Except for the most important person, which is you. Now, where do you start? How do you start on it? You know, some people will say 10%. Take the first 10%, put it aside, not as a rainy day fund, not as a fund that when my water heater or my battery goes out on my car, the clutch goes out, then I go and I use that money. No, this is your money. You take a percentage out of every paycheck and you put it in your reserve account off uh, it's a separate bank from where you bank at. You don't get statements. You don't get a check. You don't get a debit card. It's very difficult to get to the money, and that's the idea. Now, let me ask you, can you right now take 10% of what you make and put and pull it out first and put it aside? Can you live off of 10% less than what you're living on now? Now, when I meet with people, they say, no, we're, we're paycheck to paycheck as it is. We don't have any money. We, we can't pull it out. Well, there's what's called the latte effect. The latte effect is that Starbucks that you see me get on a regular basis at four bucks. But I, you got to know I'm pulling money out first and that's what's left over. You know, I'm not living off of scraps. I get my money first and then what's left over, I give to Starbucks and I give to the IRS and I give it to Visa and American Express and Ferrari Finance, right? But I pull my money out first and I put it in a separate bank account that I never go to, I never log in and look at it, it's just there. And it's done that way on purpose. But the latte effect is you're spending money here and there. Maybe it's five bucks here, six bucks there, going out to dinner, a hundred bucks there, giving the kids 20 bucks to go to the movie theaters versus putting them on payroll and writing off the movie theaters, but you got the latte effect coming on or, or happening to you. So you gotta sit down and the easiest way to do it is on your paycheck, just immediately take 10% out. And it's super easy with technology today that on your paycheck, you just tell your employer, I want you to take 10% of my gross and put it in this bank account over here, 90% put it in that bank account. And then you have less money to spend. I know it sounds simple, and it is simple, but most people don't do this. You're probably not doing it. So they say to start with 10%, you're never gonna become financially free. I shouldn't say never. It's gonna take a lot longer at 10%. Really what you wanna be doing is saving 40%. Now that, that's a big number, 40%. But I know you can do it. So start with 10 and I know you can do it on 90% of your income. And I'm gonna prove it to you. I want you to take how much money you make right now. Maybe it's $50,000 a year. Well, times 90% would be $45,000 a year. Let me ask you something. Is there anyone in your neighborhood, in your city, in your state, that's living off of $45,000 a year? If there is, then you can too. Now, I'm not telling you to do the Dave Ramsey thing and separate your toilet paper so it lasts longer. It's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying to cut off the internet, shut off your cell phone, get rid of your car, stop watering the grass, start eating ramen noodles. Not that. Have the same lifestyle now. It's just you're going to take the first 10% out immediately, and then you're going to spend the rest. Now, eventually, I want you to work up to 40%. And if you're like Warren Buffett, you can work off at 99%. And I know some of you will say, well, when I'm rich, when I can afford to do that, I'll start doing it. No, you won't. 
I guarantee you right now, if you're not doing it now, you'll never do it when you can afford to do it. That's the thing is you're never going to be able to afford to do it until you start doing it. You have to start doing it now. I learned a lesson. I don't take the seatbelt off until after I turn off the car. <laughs> I don't want the beeping. So I want you to take the first 10%, take it immediately out, put it in a separate bank account where you don't look at it, you don't touch it, it's not a rainy day, and you need to budget for those other things. The clutch going out on your car, the battery going out, the water heater, the toilet clogging up. Um, that's what you budget for, okay? But not the 10%. I'm going to answer some questions and I got to get into the office. Let's see here. Thank you, Michael Nolan. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Jason asked if you guys have, if you find value in my videos, can you do me a favor? Leave me a review on Google. So under Fortress Credit Pro, leave a review on Fortress Credit Pro on Google and on Facebook if you could, whatever you prefer. If you can do both, that'd be awesome. If you can do Yelp, Google, and Facebook, that would be 10X, if you know what I mean. Uh, that'd be awesome. So someone says his freedom is more important. I want you to prove that your freedom's more important by putting 10% away. If you guys want to send me a screenshot of your paycheck, you know, you can take out your social and your, your personal information. That would mean a world to me. That'd be even more important than the reviews. Send me proof that you're putting 10% away. And if you do that, I'll do something special for you. And I won't share it on Facebook or anything like that. I'm not going to embarrass you if you're not making as much as you want. But I'll, I'll do something special if you send me proof that you're putting 10% away. Mike uh, Bombach says, I'm doing this today. That is awesome. Send me proof. I want to see it, Mike. John Steele says, do you know how long it takes? Uh, do you know it takes about 60 days for a business credit transaction to show up? I think you're asking, do I know that? Um, John, I would say it depends. Usually it's 30 days, but it depends on what day of the month they report. So if you do the transaction on the first, they report on the second, it takes one day. So it just depends on when they're reporting and when you actually make the transaction. And same thing with personal credit. Profit first, absolutely. John says, I always put the uh, IRS last. It might bite me one day. It won't bite you as long as you pay them. IRS, I, I, I do not do exempt because that's a red flag issue, but I do do married with 10 to take as little as possible out of my paycheck. And then I pay them at the end of the year with it. Uh, what about paying off debt? Debt is second, you are first. If you put debt first, then they're more important. That's what I'm getting at, Derek, and that's a great question. I'm saying debt, expenses, and the IRS come last. You are first, and then you d deal with the debt later. All right, I gotta run into the office I got a lunch date at one o'clock with my grandson at the hangar to go look at some jets. So I appreciate you. Send me proof that you're putting yourself first and I'll do something special for you. See you later.